Hello and welcome back. I'm gonna finish up my Grom today by installing the shorty levers on it right here. This is by MZS and I'll leave a link in the description on these shorty levers. Uh, the thing is, <laughs> look at this. The previous owner, he already installed an MZS lever. I wonder if I should keep one red and one black. That look pretty nice, huh? Red and black like that. But I bought a whole new set. I don't think they sell these like individually. <laughs> they sell them as a pair and then I'm also going to install this front fender here it's gonna look nice looks like a little supermoto bike and that's gonna be it for this video so let's get right into it unfortunate all right let me just start off with the clutch lever here it's a 10 meter millimeter and this right here some info on this bike i did buy it used i bought i was looking all around for a honda grom like six to eight months ago and they were all sold out because of the pandemic so this right here all you got to do is just see how there's a line got to line it up and then you can just pull it through pull the wire through see that it comes out like that i found a guy online who was selling his Grom and only had 800 miles on it and it's a 2020 I really wanted the 2021 I didn't want to wait for the 2021 even though the 2021 is taking forever to come back out it's they're not they're not even gonna release it probably until like the near the end of this year or something but I was looking forever for the 2020 I went to all these stores I couldn't find the 2020 Grom but yeah, I went all around to all these stores trying to find the 2020 Grom and I couldn't find it. And so I had to find it online. And I'm really skeptical of buying a really good bike, like a 2020 new one online. But this guy was, I checked it all out. This guy was super cool. Everything was legit. Had the title, had everything. Everything was perfect on it. It runs great. So now I just bought it. But it took me a really long time. And it also uh, falls in with buying my electric bike, the Onyx. Because it took so long to buy this Grom that I just wanted a bike to ride around. And that's why I bought an electric bike. But, you know, buying an electric bike, it takes a long time to ship to you. I waited for my Onyx for like almost four months, three to four months. It said on the website, if you come and pick up the bike, you will get it quicker at their uh, office location so that's what I did and I think that saved me a few weeks on picking it up I need to take out this too I don't want to have it both on and I don't think it looks nice so I'm gonna remove this and having it shipped costs like what 200 250 dollars just to ship it <laughs> screw that so I drove there picked it up and it was su super simple to drive there and pick it up got the bike quick in like three months faster than most people and that's how i got my onyx but this one you know it took me a long time to find a 2020 version of this bike i didn't even want this orange color i really wanted a red but you know the orange is getting on me now and i really like the orange now <laughs> all right guys i want to show you if you're going to take this off make sure there's a nut back here you gotta hold on to that and then unscrew it it'll be a lot easier and also this one last one right here holding the cable on it. Got to remove that. Okay. There we go. How dirty is it? Hmm, not too bad. Now I need to unbolt these right here. And also on this side. Okay, so. This is how it goes on. It pretty much just sits over it like that. Okay, so this took some working out. I'll show you guys right here. There is a screw on the bottom here and it's the adjustment screw for the headlight. I had to unbolt that and then you can slide it through to have it attached on. But to even get it on, I have to remove the little washer that was on that screw down there, this little washer, which is fine. It feels really tight. And then there were like the short screw up here. I pretty much couldn't use it. And I used the screw that was down here. Since we're no longer using this thing, 
I had to reuse the longer screw for this one up here, which is fine because I'm not going to use this down here. But if you're using the old fender down here and this one too, then you're going to run out of screws because you need the longer one up here. And that's how I got it on. And it is looking really good. I'll give you guys an overall view right now when I go out and ride it. Hey guys, I hope this camera angle is coming out good. I'm trying to use a different angle. <laughs> uh, show you guys more of a front on angle on this. But um, I'm gonna head to this dirt spot over here so I can show you guys the bike, how it looks like right now. Yeah, I found this trail over here that looks pretty cool that I want to go check out. Yeah, my mirror is like screwing up on me. There's like this cool little dirt spot right over here. I passed it. <laughs> See if I can get back up on it. Right in the dirt. Oh, it's kind of shady right here. I need some uh, dirt tires. I'm thinking of getting the Shinkos or the Maxis. Oh, let's go down here. Here it is. Let's see how we're doing this. Hope there's no nails or anything. <laughs> Screw up my tires. But, um, all right, I guess this is a good spot. Here it is. That's how it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? I love it. I love the front fender. It gives it, like, that cool little dirt bite look. It's like a Supo Motard. Look at that baby. The bike is complete. Actually, I'm thinking of buying this is just like a cheap little Amazon brand. When I bought it from the other guy, you know, that's what he had on it. And uh it sounds alright, it works good too. But I'm thinking of getting the Zoom Brute exhaust. It looks super cool. I like the original Zoom too, but it, it does the loop and you know it's harder to change out your oil. So the new one the zoom brute it looks like this pipe and it just has like a, a shiny chrome to it It looks really nice and it sounds good too so yeah that might be in another mod later on I might also get a sub cage for the back it makes it look really cool and in case I drop it I don't, I'm not gonna try all these crazy stunts on it or anything it's just I like the look of it and if it drops it will help support the bike but yeah look at these levers I like the levers on it. Really cool. MZS. I might change this back to the red one. Give it an off color. I don't know. And then what else am I going to do? I might uh, I might spray the orange actually. I might turn it white. And uh, that will be another video. But for now, that's how the bike looks.
I don't know why I do that. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to go and tear it up in the dirt a few more times. Then I'm going to head out, get myself some coffee, and think about the next uh, Onyx electric bike video that I'm going to do. I don't know what to do yet. Oh man, the close is off. Sons of Beaches. tires are pretty grippy in this dirt still it's pretty good just don't want to hit anything sharp like a big sharp rock but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe if you haven't yet give it two likes comment down below uh, what else you want to see me do to this Grom I might do it I don't know what else Oh, I hit a little twig. What's this over here? It's a dead end. There's no dead ends for this Grom. We're on a Grom, baby. Oh, it's more rocky here. It is more rocky here. Do not puncture my tires, please. Please. I can go down here. That was sketchy. Awesome. I can get out on this side over here. Woo. Oh, please don't be shut off. Don't tell me they closed the gates here too. There's a little path here. We good boys, we good. Grom exploration! Let's get out of here! Slowing down, come on, let's go, baby. See you guys later!